This Algo Design Lab strategy will be an example of using the spreader block in ADL to create a start to finish trading program that legs a specific price level to get into a position and then works an automated hedge routine in response to the fills. First, let's begin by opening up a blank ADL canvas as we see right here. The platform trade design icons are located here on the left column of the page. Now, to start this strategy, we need to drag a spreader block onto the design canvas. Next, Drag out two instrument blocks and select the desired contracts. In this example, I'll choose May Crude as leg 1 and June Crude as leg 2. To add the desired contract quantity, drag a number block and then select 5 for the coin. I realize this example will compete with an exchange implied engine, but it's just an example from which you can learn to conceive more. Using ADL circuit design technique, connect these blocks into the spreader blocks input ports. May Crude into the leg 1 import, June crude into the link 2 import, and then the number into the quantity input. We could make this order quantity dynamic by tying it to live variables, but we will keep this example as basic as possible. Next, drag a block known as the spread between block onto the canvas. This block exists for the convenience of identifying market information of an exchange tradable spread. Connect the May crude front leg into the top input and the June crude back leg into the bottom input. Once an exchange supported spread for that combination is found, it is identified by the instrument name, as we see listed right here. I'm going to set my price to the bid level of the exchange listed spread. Another possible and easy option would be to design the program to attempt to leg a bid level some number of tradable increments below the exchange listed spread price. I'm going to set the condition when I want this program to run and that is only if and when the spread bid quantity is greater than 25. Connect these variables to the conditional input now. To set your ratio and risk parameters, drill into the spreader block by double clicking. We have several variables here that we can modify. For this example, the multiple will stay at 1. Change the back leg to a cell by making it a minus 1. We can set the program to work all one or no legs in this column. I will set it to work the back leg only. Some markets such as treasuries may be selected to run in net change terms. For the crude, we will use price, the default setting. Pay up ticks are the number of price increments to the desired level that the second leg will be entered as a limit order. We'll use the default setting of zero. The lean ratio is the quantity of contracts required in the second leg in order to work the first leg. We will leave this as a ratio of 1 to 1. Lastly, at the top of the window we can choose whether to work orders that are only on the best bid or ask, or also orders in the market depth, which may provide you a queue placement edge. We will leave it as a default setting for always. Now that we have created the logic to get into the market via the legs of the spread, we now want to use the exchange listed spread for these legs as a hedge to get out of our position. Let's drop a market maker block and double click on it to select it as a cell market maker. Now, we want to double click on this market maker block and select hedge in the flag drop down menu. What this will do is flag all hedge orders a user defined color so that they are easy to recognize when you go to manage the hedge orders in the order book. To create the hedge logic for fills, we need to drag a value extractor block to extract the fill price an accumulator block that totals all the partial fills. Attach the accumulator block to the cell marker maker block quantity input. We're going to use an if-then block to create the logic for the hedge profit and scratch levels. We want our construction for this price to follow along this kind of logic. If the exchange listed spread bid quantity is greater than our user defined variable quantity which in this case we will define as 50. And the bid price of the exchange listed spread is greater or equal to our fill price. Then we want to work our fill price plus one price increment to define the profit objective. Else, 
If we can't get that price, we simply will attempt to scratch at the fill price. Once we get initial legging fills, we want the ability to work each of the partial fills separately as potentially different prices to accomplish our profit or scratch goals. To achieve this, we will virtualize the entire hedge logic portion of the strategy. Virtualizing produces an independent copy of the hedge routine logic for every initial legging fill. To virtualize, group all the blocks in the hedge logic and right click on the group block and select virtualize. And now we are finished. To review, we have gone over a basic ADL strategy showing the use of the spreader block to illustrate how to create a start to finish algorithm using two outright legs to get into a position and then using the exchange listed spread to exit the position with an automated hedge routine. Using ADL, we are able to create this powerful black box program in a fraction of the time that it would take using traditional programming methods. Also, by automating this process of getting into a spread at a potentially dynamic price and then getting out at a level with a custom logic. ADL is changing the way spread traders trade. If you're interested in a free 30-day trial of our Ticket Sim software, please call 312-341-7453 and ask for our sales team.